Oh, three dice in today's video, we're gonna be talking about which Minecraft Bedrock server host is better. Server Bedrock Pro, Eternals, or Minehub? Let's get started. Okay, yo, what is going on, guys? My name is Creeper Coastal here. And welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing something different, but it's still Minecraft related because Eternal, Server Pro, and Minehub are all server hosts for Minecraft. Now today we're specifically going to Bedrock servers. Bedrock server hosting now. First up, we're gonna start with Eternal's advantages. What are these advantages? Advantages? Sorry. So basically, Eternals you can have unlimited players at the same time and unlimited player limits if you know how to edit the scenes and unlimited plugins. Everything else is free. So basically, do say it themselves, Minecraft servers are free forever. So I haven't seen, I don't know if I've seen anything like on how to pay for a server, but all I don't know is that they have free service it's it's pretty good but there's a something that's a disadvantage about this if you host a eternal server your server will only remain online unless there is play activity so if there is if no one's on the server your server will immediately go offline after a few minutes that's the only disadvantage about using Eternals. Now, let's go on to Server.pro. Pro. What advantages does Server.pro Pro have? Well, yeah, I don't know. But there's some a lot of disadvantages about this. Well, advantage, well, it does not Server Pro service does do not depend on play activity. So if you were host, if you were to host a server on Server Pro, you do not need player on to have players online to keep it online. However, your server is run by by hours. So if you activate your server, it will only remain online for an hour unless you renew it. That's an issue with it. You have to constantly keep we obtain the server now there's a lot of disadvantages about this you can only have 10 players online at the same time and you have a limit of 10 plugins which is another issues another issue about this server hosting now server so pro in my opinion is great if you're willing to pay for a server not so much if you want a free server. Now let's go on to Minehub. Minehub, what uh, you might when you first go to Minehub, you will get a the, the site will be in a different language. All you have to do is click on the top right and change it to English. Now, where's Minehub? Minehub is an, another server host. So yeah. So basically, Minehub is a free Minecraft Bedrock server host that I highly recommend. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. Now, see, Minehub compared to the other ones don't have a player limit. Well, they do, but it's up to 1,000 players, and I doubt you're gonna have 1,000 players on a server unless you're a popular YouTuber. So. It's highly recommended because, well, I highly recommend it because you have a, pl a plugin limit and your server can remain online for up to three days, which is because the disadvantage of this, you, the server gets deleted after, from the entire site after three days. So like, it does give you a warning out, but like you have to constantly keep renewing it after three days which to me I don't find it much of a problem but 
I don't know what you guys think. Okay guys, so anyways, that was my opinions on Zelda Pro, Atlas, and Minehub. So, if you guys have any free Minecraft server hosting that I did not show, that I did not review, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll check them out. So anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all later.